What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and a lot of you dudes have been telling me about this new Fire Emblem news that's coming out. If you don't know, Fire Emblem if slash Fates um, for House in America it comes out in Japan either today or tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure of the day, but of course early copies have leaked. But I don't think this information is pertaining from a leak rather than just like an official press release or something. But apparently it's confirmed that there will be gay marriage in Fire Emblem If, which to be honest with you guys is a very progressive move. Now let's actually go to the um, article itself right here. And um, on Polygon, you know, I mean, a lot of people are opinionated about Polygon too. And so there are so many comments that say, hey, Etika, why do you always give that disclaimer about Kotaku and Polygon before you ever like cover an article by them? Because Kotaku and Polygon have very negative stigmas about themselves. So I want to make sure that you guys don't think that I'm actually a part of that, but rather I'm just reporting on the interesting article. That's it. I know, I know Kotaku's, you know, guilty of some, you know, wrongdoings, and so is Polygon, but at the same time, they do report on some articles that I find interesting, and this one is not necessarily something that's just on Polygon, because everyone's covering this, because gay marriage in Fire Emblem confirmed. I gotta give Nintendo props, man. But then again, there's been a lot of gaming companies this year that have implemented gay marriage, so I really can't say that Nintendo's, like, the first on board or whatever, but it's nice to see that a Nintendo title such as this, such a big franchise, is actually getting the treatment that I think it needs, you know? I, I feel like this is something that is important, especially to like let people know that there's equality in a lot of fields. Let's take a look at what the article is saying here. I mean, the information is basically in the title, but um, Nintendo's new Fire Emblem will introduce same-sex marriage to the strategy role-playing game series. Nintendo confirmed to Polygon today. We can confirm that the Fire Emblem Fates for the Nintendo 3DS, which launches in Japan on June 25th, 2015, coming to the US in 2016, includes the possibility for same-sex marriage to take place between the main character created by the gamer and another character in the game, Nintendo said in a statement. In previous Fire Emblem titles, like 2012's Awakening, the players could marry off characters in the opposite sex if they bonded closely through conversations, relationships with S rank, characters could have children, creating new playable characters. Fates will feature an A-plus ranking for characters of the same sex who form a strong bond. In, in a statement, Nintendo explained how same-sex relationships will work in the two editions of Fates. Fates comes in two different versions, called Conquest and Birthright Editions. In the US, Conquest and Birthright will both be sold separately, okay, and is already the case in Japan. For those who have purchased either the Conquest or Birthright Edition, a third edition will be made available as a download content as a later stage. Details on how the three storylines will be made available in other regions will be announced at a later date. So there's actually going to be three games, one of them that's going to be DLC, and the two, we knew this information from a while ago, but just, you know, it's good to go over this again. And a lot of us weren't sure if America was going to get two games, but it turns out that we are. Fire Emblem Fates is going to have a Conquest and Birthright Edition. So, I mean, hey, it works off. Bushido, Nor, that's how it goes. In the Conquest Edition of the game, there's a male character that the game's player may have his or her male main character marry after they bond in battle. <laughs> oh man, I mean, and just to clarify, I know some of you are probably going to be asking me, Etika, are you gay? I I'm not homosexual myself, nor am I bisexual, but I definitely am a big supporter of equality across the board. And considering that we, you know, I mean, let's, let's be real here. I mean, one sexual orientation or one direction is definitely not the way our society is right now. And I definitely vouch a lot for equality and equal representation on all fronts. And I feel like that's an extremely strong thing to back up. Um, so, um, in the Birthright Edition, it features a female character that a female main character may marry after bonding in battle. Both of the aforementioned characters can be encountered in the third edition of the game. So it's only one character each. It's not like you can, you can, you know, you, what, what is it that, they, 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 that, 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 that um, gay couples do? What's that shit that they do? Um, tummy sticks? You can't play tummy sticks with anybody in the game. There's only just one character, and you can't, you can't scissor anyone in the game. <laughs> just one character. One dude, one chick. Um, in other words, if players want to have a relationship between two male characters, you'll need to purchase the Conquest edition or download the third storyline. If the players want to pursue a relationship between two female characters, you'll need the Birthright edition or again, download the third storyline. I love the idea of marketing these things towards sexual orientation. So maybe, you know how they usually have those games available in GameStop, you know, they have the little stickers that show extra features and whatnot. So, you know, oh, Wi-Fi capability with two to three or four friends. Um, what's another feature they have? Uh, they could just put they could just put it on there, man. Muff diving included in this game. <laughs> 
It's so fuck. It's fucked up. I'm just being a fucking clown. I'm, I apologize. I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm being a fucking idiot, okay? Um, Nintendo has been criticized in the past with Tomodachi Life. I know they're going to bring that up. For restricting same-sex relationships in its games. And that was a big deal because a lot of people were saying, you know, considering how open style Miis are, the fact that you can't, you know, scissor or tummy sticks anyone is kind of like, you know, closed-minded on Nintendo's part. And I definitely agree with them. But it looks like they're coming all around, man. 2016, well, for us at least, 2016. For you guys in Japan, 2015 is the year of equal, um, excuse me, of equal representation, man. I'm glad to see this thing going down. Um, the company's statement today, Nintendo explained why it's including same-sex relationship options for the new Fire Emblem. We believe our gameplay experiences should reflect the diversity of communities in which we operate, and at the same time, we will always design the game specifications of each title by a variety of factors, such as the game scenario and the nature of the gameplay. In the end, of course, the game should be fun to play, and we feel that Fire Emblem of Fates is indeed enjoyable to play, and we hope that fans will like the game. You know, they don't really need to explain why they included it, man, because at the end of the day here, we all want fair representation, we all want equal representation, and to be honest, it's just a really good PR move, too, for Nintendo to include something like this. You know, anyone who thinks that... I, I feel like there's a really closed-minded stigma in some parts of the United States, and the world, of course. Let me not just talk as if the United States is at the forefront of everything. The world has some major problems when it comes to people of differing orientations, and I feel like a move in this fashion will definitely help for people to understand that equal representation is important in these games. And you know what, Nintendo, you get kudos, man. Definitely impressed with this move. I'm hoping that there'll be a lot more equal options available for future games and that other game developers will learn from this whole thing. But then again, considering other games that have come out this year as well, like I said earlier in this video, equal representation in terms of sexual preference and gay marriage is definitely on the rise, and I'm glad to see that. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Wait a minute, what the fuck? This thing doesn't act right, man. I'm, I'm getting used to this new recording method, man. This shit does not zoom out when I want it to, or not fade away when I want it to. I'm sorry. I, in my last two videos, everyone was like, why are you just staring at the screen so awkwardly at the end? But I, what I really meant to do was this.